وخشعت الأصوات للرحمن فلا تسمع إلا همسا يومئذ لا تنفع الشفاعة إلا إلا من أذن له الرحمن ورضي له قولا يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون به علما ولا يحيطون به علما وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما ومن يعمل من الصالحات وهو مؤمن فلا يخاف فلا يخاف ظلما ولا هضما وكذلك أن أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا وصرفنا وصرفنا فيه من الوعيد لعلهم يتقون لعلهم يتقون أو يحدث لهم ذكرا فتعالى الله الملك الحق ولا تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه وقر رب زدني علما وانت عايشنا بحب لو تضيق الأرض نسكن كل بلا سماح الله وانت عايشنا بحب لو تضيق الارض نسكن كل قوم التحيه والسلام انشروا احلى الكلام زينوا الدنيا 
واحترام ابن حبة وابتسام انشروا بين الألام هذا هو دين السلام I am extremely grateful that we have convened this afternoon to show our gratitude to each other by acknowledging the role we have all played in the lives of class of 2021 as we culminate their 10 to 15 years of formal education at East Islamic School. Their five years in a secondary division can only be described as phenomenal milestones. With the first three years encompassing experiences which ranged from academic and co-curricular experiences to remarkable, sorry, to memorable in-school events and educational tours. The latter two years certainly redefined their school experience and compelled them, their teachers and parents, to adjust to atypical circumstances. But at the end of the day, circumstances which were already decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is now my humble task to officiate the final three categories of the presentation of special awards. In the first category, graduates are awarded for their exceptional performances in humanities, sciences, business, and technical vocational subjects. Sharing the spotlight for most outstanding performance in sciences are Najiba Hussein, Bibi Taslima Khan and Narissa Sebastian. I humbly ask our dear principal, Brother Akram Hussein, to make the first presentation to his second daughter, Najiba. Thank you, Brother Akram. Ms. Sophia Yaku. Please present this award to Bibi Taslima Khan. Thank you, Ms. Sophia. Ms. Nadia Hussein, please present this award to Narissa Sebastian. The recipient of most outstanding performance in business is presented to our top student, Saleh Muhammad Rahim. The recipient for most outstanding performance in humanities is Saleh Muhammad Rahim. And here we have it another time. Sharing the spotlight for most outstanding performance in technical vocational studies are Najiba Hussein and Bibi Taslima Khan. I humbly ask Ms. Carol Andrews to present these two awards. And now for the penultimate category of special awards. In this category, our students are recognized for their memorization of Quran. The students who have excelled in this category made tremendous sacrifices with the support of their parents to dedicate time, either at home or with the assistance of classes outside of school, to, compl to complete their hips. Today, we acknowledge their success and trust that this will be an inspiration to all those who are present here today. The recipients for most outstanding Quran students are Saleh Muhammad Rahim. Saleh completed the memorization of the entire Quran in the latter years of primary school and early secondary. Both of his parents played a major role in this accomplishment and Saleh continues to be a motivation to both his peers and teachers in this regard. MashaAllah. Zainab Aziz. Sister Fadiya Majid, please present this award to Zainab. 
Zainab completed the memorization of 17 ajza of the Quran. MashaAllah. Bibi Taslima Khan. Ms. Mara Hassan, please present this award to Taslima. Taslima completed memorization of 15 ajza of Quran. Thank you, Ms. Mara. Najiba Hussein, I think by now you are noticing that our top five performers, most of them are students who also discipline themselves to memorize Quran. They did not leave off their Quran. Najiba completed memorization of 10 ajza of Quran. In the final category of presentation of awards, we wish to present a token of appreciation to Mr. and Mrs. Haq for their consistent commitment and support to Isa Islamic School over the years. This has brought us to the conclusion of the presentation of awards. I wish to thank Brother Imran Majid for his unwavering commitment to this task every year. Jazakallah khair. I take this opportunity to bid farewell to the class of 2021. Firstly, it was truly a joy to be your English language and literature teacher. I'm still smiling at my 16 grade ones and the fact that this year is even more special because all of my English B students are among the top 10 performers, alhamdulillah. Additionally, some of them have grown into poets and orators. You have made me pr so proud with your academic performance, but more importantly, I will always have a smile on my face, like your teachers, when we see you in the future, inshallah, because this journey was not all about academics. I am proud of the human beings you have all become. When I look at you, I can think of at least one outstanding, unique quality that each one of you possess that makes you a beautiful servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. It is with great joy that I officiate over the presentation of secondary school diplomas and certificates of achievement for prefects. In June 2021, 27 students wrote the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate General Examinations. This afternoon, 25 graduates are recipients of a secondary school diploma for having successfully completed the secondary education program in accordance with the, with the regulations of the Ministry of Education and the ISA Islamic Education curricula. I would like to invite the principal, Brother Akram Hussein, on stage to present our male graduates with their secondary school diploma. Ridwan Hak. Shuaib Yusuf Ibrahim. Mustafa Daniel Abdul Qadir. Amir Khan. Riaz Ahmed Khan. Saleh Muhammad Rahim.
Saif Roshan. In absentia are Ridwan Hussein and Navindra Singh. Jazakallah. Thank you, Brother Akram. To, pre to present the scrolls to the female graduates, I now invite Sister Salma Khan, Head of Secondary Division, on stage to present secondary school diplomas to our female graduates. Bibi Shanaz Amir. Zainab Rukhaya Aziz. Mariah Saudia Baksh. Alima Isman. Jamila Asia Ford. Najiba Hussein. Sarah Zainab Ibbat. Fadila Mushira Jamarali. Munisa Abdul Qadir. Amira Khan. Bibi 
Taslima Khan. Bibi Zaina Khan. Saliha Muhammad. Narissa Aisha Sebastian. Hania Sinarang. Kayla Angelica Thompson. In absentia, Nusaiba Gafar. Thank you, Sister Salma. Congratulations, class of 2021. In secondary division, students who excel in academics and manifest leadership qualities and demonstrate promising potential in this regard are elected to serve the prefect body. 13 of the graduates from this batch of students were prefects. This is a profound achievement for a single class since it means that half of the class were prefects. Mashallah. As such, we wish to present them with a certificate of achievement for their exemplary service from 2019 to 2021. I humbly ask Brother Imran Majid, head of the prefect body, and Sister Safiya Yaqub to present these certificates. Saleh Rahim. Saif Roshan Shinaz Amir Zainab Aziz Alima Isman Jamila Ford
Nusaiba Hussein. Sorry, Nojiva Hussein. Sarah Ebert. Zaina Khan. Bibi Taslima Khan. Narissa Aisha Sebastian. Hania Sinarang. Jazakallah, Sir Imran and Miss Sophia. This has brought us to the end of distribution of certificates. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The task is mine to officiate this segment of the presentation of CSEC Special Awards. In this category, our top, our top 10 performers for CSEC 2021 will be awarded for their outstanding performances. Before we commence these presentations, can I please ask the following presenters to stand by. Ms. Carol Andrews, Sir Imran Majid, Ms. Lisa Taylor, Ms. Nadia Hussein, Sister Farina Khan, Ms. Atifa Lovell, Sister Fariza Haq, and Brother Nazar Muhammad. Thank you. In 10th position is Saleha Muhammad. Ms. Carol Andrews, could you present this award to Saleha? Salaha wrote 13 subjects and earned four grade ones, six grade twos, and three grade threes. In ninth position is Saif Roshan. Brother Imran Majid, could you please present this award to Saif? Saif wrote 11 subjects and earned six grade ones and five grade twos. Thank you, Brother Imran. In eighth position is Mariah Baksh. Miss Lisa Taylor, could you please present this award? Writing a total of 12 subjects, Mariah earned seven grade ones, four grade twos, and one grade three. Mariah enrolled at ESA for virtual classes at the end of grade 10 but made the extra sacrifice to travel from West Burbies to Georgetown for in-school classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We are happy to see that her dedication has paid off. In seventh position is Alima Eastman. Writing a total of 16 subjects, Alima earned seven grade ones, eight grade twos, and one grade three. 
Alima pursued both the science and business course subjects at CSEC examinations. Alima, please remain on stage. There is a surprise from a very special person who could not be here but wanted to gift you something special for your outstanding performance. And she hopes that you know just how special you are. Ms. Salma, please present this bouquet and gift to Alima on behalf of Sister Alima Muhammad. Thank you, Ms. Salma. In sixth position is Jamila Ford. Sister Farina Khan, could you please present this award to Jamila? Jamila wrote nine subjects and earned eight grade ones and one grade two. In fifth position is Narissa Sebastian. Narissa wrote 13 subjects and earned nine grade ones and four grade twos. In fourth position is Taslima Khan. Taslima wrote 15 subjects and earned 11 grade ones and four grade twos. We're still awaiting CXC to confirm Taslima's grade for Spanish. Taslima will be pursuing medical science at Texila University while completing the memorization of Quran, inshallah. Tying in second position, after each writing 15 subjects and earning 13 grade ones and two grade twos, are Sarah Ebot and Najiba Hussein. These two young shining stars also earned themselves positions among the top 35 students in Guyana who earned 12 grade ones and more in this, at this year's CSEC examinations. MashaAllah, they have certainly placed Isa in the spotlight. In first position is Saleh Muhammad Rahim. Brother Nazar, could you please present this award to Saleh? Saleh earned 14 grade ones with straight A profiles in 13 of those 14 subjects. Saleh is also recognized today for positioning himself among the top 25 performers in Guyana who, who earned 12 grade ones and more. In MashaAllah. Saleh is currently pursuing private Islamic studies classes with his father, Sheikh Abdul Alim, and will be pursuing his studies in accounting, inshallah. This brings us to the culmination of the presentation of awards to our top 10 performers. Congratulations to these students and their parents for their exceptional performances. Can I please ask Sheikh Musab and Sister Tahira Ali to be on standby, thank you. Isa Islamic School is an educational arm of the Guyana Islamic Trust. The GIT awards the top three CSEC performers every year with cash awards. I humbly ask Sheikh Musab Yusuf to present this, award, this cash award to Salim Muhammad Rahim. Thank you, Hafiz Huzaifa. Sister Tahira, could you please present these awards to Sarah and Najiba? I wish to congratulate the class of 2021 for their dedication and commitment to their learning and examinations despite the many challenges which confronted them. I was a hum <laughs> I'm humble and I was, I'm honored to serve as your class teacher and I look forward to hear many, many great things about you, inshallah, in the future. Please stay in touch. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim allahumma 'allimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'na bima 'allamtana wa zidna 'ilman wa 'amalan mutaqabbalan ya rabbal alamin amin respected chairman of the board of directors of isa islamic school principal of the isa islamic school members of the board of directors heads of divisions special invitees and guests parents teachers and students assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah as for our non-muslim guests may the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with all of you all praises are for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has allowed us all to be here today to witness this graduation ceremony it has certainly been a very memorable and enjoyable journey for my classmates and I, and one which I am certain we will never forget. Firstly, let me start by congratulating my classmates, along with their parents and families, as well as the administration and teachers of the Issa Islamic School on this tremendous achievement. I believe that you would all agree that we have done our school, our families, and ourselves proud by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For many of us, the journey with Isa would have begun at differing stages. For me, this journey started at the age of seven in grade two, and Isa has held a special place in my heart since then. The first six and a half, this first six and a half years of my life prior to that were spent in Damascus, Syria, where my only formal schooling experience was a brief stint at an Arabic play school, after which my parents taught me at home. When I joined ISA, I was as playful as any seven-year-old, with no real inclination to do well in tests and exams. I remember vividly earning the tenth position in the class after the first term's assessments. However, my parents wanted me to excel and my mother worked and studied with me and alhamdulillah by the national grade 2 assessment I was able to attain the second position in the class. Since then with the support of my parents I was always keen to do well and alhamdulillah once again I was able to succeed at the national grade 4 and national grade 6 assessments. After completing the NGSA, my parents, who had always placed great emphasis on seeking Islamic knowledge, decided that it, would be, that it would be best if I utilized one year to memorize the Holy Quran before commencing secondary school. By the grace of Allah, I completed the memorization of the Quran, along with other Islamic studies in that year, and I can safely say that never have I regretted this decision taken by my parents, since it has benefited me tremendously throughout my life thus far. Alhamdulillah. After spending that year at home, I rejoined my classmates in grade eight. I remember how playful we were at that time, throwing chalk at each other, flying paper planes around the class, and playing cricket with the board ruler. Those were the days when we had the reputation of being the loudest grade in the division, received detention constantly, and paid regular visits to Ms. Salma's office. However, as the classes went by, we matured and became much more responsible. We began encouraging one another to study and help one another to understand and complete our schoolwork. By the grace of Allah, we have transformed from being a noisy bunch of teenagers to a proud and diligent batch of graduates, despite numerous challenges. I'm not mentioning these challenges to complain about our school life, but rather for us to understand and appreciate that like any long distance journey, ours was certainly not short of trials and difficulties. In primary, such challenges were less common and perhaps the principal one at that time was the national grade 6 assessment since it represented our first real exposure to the tensions and pressures of national examinations. In secondary, challenges were much more frequent and in the earlier grades a major one 
was the constant changing of teachers. There were periods when long-standing teachers resigned, and there was a great struggle to find suitable replacements. For example, I remember us having at least six different mathematics teachers in grade eight. Adjusting to the teaching style of new teachers is always difficult, but alhamdulillah, we pulled through. However, by far the greatest challenge of all was the coronavirus pandemic and the difficulties which arose therefrom since it was totally unprecedented. These included the closing of school, challenges with online classes and learning, and the inability to conduct effective examinations online. One of the most effective areas, affected areas was the school-based assessments. Due to the closure of school and resulting constraints, many SBAs, especially those which required physical presence or lab work, were delayed. As a result, all SBAs were only completed in the beginning of May leaving very limited time for us to properly revise and prepare for our exams. Above all, the duration of the CSEC examinations itself was a very stressful period of over one month, characterized by little sleep, lots of anxiety, and tremendous tension and pressure. However, as the saying goes, every cloud has a silver lining, and hence, despite the numerous trials, there are always positives that can be taken from every situation. One of the most significant positives amid the unprecedented challenges of the pandemic has been the transition to online learning after the forced closure of schools. This enabled us to continue learning and working, while students of many other schools, which were unable to put systems in place for online classes, were forced to pass the time at home. Online learning has also helped us to improve our computer literacy skills, along with our ability to use various online platforms and productivity tools. Respected gathering, it goes without saying that we could not have made it to this day without the help and assistance of many persons. Firstly, I must express my sincerest thanks and gratitude to Allah, God Almighty, who has, enabled us to who has enabled us all to complete our CSEC examinations and by extension, blessed us to be the graduating class of 2021 on this day. I truly cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough for my achievements at CSEC and for all of the achievements that I have made throughout my school life. I can only echo the words of Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam when he said, وَمَا تَوْفِيقِي إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْهِ أُنِيبُ And my success is only by the permission of Allah. Upon Him I rely, and to Him I turn in repentance. Secondly, heartfelt thanks must be expressed to my parents, my first teachers, for everything they have done for me throughout my life. For many of us, our parents are the only persons, apart from ourselves, who truly understand and appreciate the full extent of our journey and the challenges it entailed. Thank you both for the, for the excellent Islamic upbringing which you have given me and the emphasis you place on my education, sparing no expenses in the process. Thank you for always supporting, advising, and encouraging me, even in the most difficult circumstances. To my mom, my very first teacher and mentor, thank you for seeing the potential in me when I was young and playful, and for your patience and perseverance, working extensively with me to ensure that I performed well, both academically and Islamically. Thank you so much for always pushing me to achieve such goals and heights that I would have never set for myself, and for always encouraging me to complete my work and studies on time without procrastinating. Thank you for always raising any concerns and grievances that I might have had, even if it meant inconvenience to you in the process. Thank you for always providing warmth and comfort to me, especially when the times were tough. I love you so much. To my father, 
Thank you for instilling the love of the Qur'an in me from a very young age. Thank you for always providing a perfect balance between work and relaxation, igniting and fueling my passion for reading, as well as placing great emphasis on sports and teaching me to play them. Thank you for helping to relax my mind from the stress of schoolwork with a few games of table tennis or sometimes watching an entertaining boxing match. Thank you for always supporting, guiding, and advising me during extremely pressuring situations and providing the critical balance of Islamic studies and appreciation of the deen along with my academics. I love you so much. To my dear sisters, much appreciation to you. You have always provided me with kind words of encouragement and support, along with much entertainment and pleasant distractions, which have certainly helped to lighten the atmosphere amid the tension and pressure of the CSEC examinations. And to my relatives, especially my grandmothers and my auntie Molly, thank you for your continued, for your continued support, duas, and best wishes for me throughout this journey. Of course, graduating from ESA today could not have been possible without our beloved and hardworking teachers. Thank you all for providing the knowledge required for us to complete our exams and our school life at ESA. There are numerous things that I can thank each of my teachers for, but I will only be able to mention a few. Firstly, Ms. Safiya, our class teacher in grade 11, and for some of us in grade 9 as well. Ms. Safiya has always stood up for the views of the students, even when many of the teachers did not, and the memory of her brownies and chocolate cake still, li still lingers in our minds. Secondly, Sir Hudaifa, class teacher in grades 8 and 10, whose jokes entertained us throughout our journey, and whose advice and constructive criticism has helped us to better ourselves. Sir Imran, always going the extra mile to help us understand, even utilizing mind maps, vivid examples, and informative videos, as well as being an excellent housemaster for sports. Ms. Atifa's regular pop quizzes and mathematics assignments, though we sometimes dislike them, have benefited us tremendously in our examinations. And Ms. Taylor's patience, despite our mispronunciations and stuttering while reading Spanish passages, along with her belief in us, will certainly not be forgotten. Ms. Nadia's strict yet lenient approach was always very effective in ensuring that we finished her work. And that, coupled with her perseverance, was vital in helping us to complete our extremely lengthy agricultural science SBAs. Sheikh Musab's classes always proved to be very informative with a blend of various subjects along with Islamic or religious education, including science, English, and history at times. Thank you also to those teachers whose subjects I did not write for CSEC and to those teachers who had taught us in lower grades, especially Sir Shaheed, who worked tirelessly to ensure that we understood what he taught. Much appreciation to Sir Saddam Hussein and Ms. Taslima Sharif, who were especially helpful and vital to me in my CSEC examinations, and also to Ms. Walima Razak, who rescued us with regards to our English SBA, and for that, we are truly grateful. Of course, many thanks to Ms. Salma, who has managed the secondary division brilliantly for the duration of our stay, playing a pivotal role in getting us to where we are today, and whose timely advices have impacted us in many positive ways. Also, sincerest gratitude must be expressed to our principal, Sir Akram, who has led the school with efficiency especially during the periods when the pandemic had first hit Guyana, by establishing the online learning system for the school to continue its operations. Special thanks to the Ahmad Ikhwaz Scholarship Fund and its director, Brother Nazar Mohammed, for its tremendous support, which continues to benefit the students and the school alike. Of course, not forgetting those teachers and students who have made this graduation possible, and worked industriously to prepare the venue 
and make the arrangements to ensure that everything went smoothly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all bountifully. Finally, I wish to thank all of my classmates for being a part of this unforgettable journey with me. Thank you all for the encouragement, support, and respect that you have displayed for one another over the years. Many thanks to those of you who have constantly shared beneficial resources, to those who have helped to evoke laughter from us by providing some form of entertainment, and to my fellow table tennis players and cricketers with whom I have played ever so often. Also, thank you very much to those of you who have performed well for examinations and tests, for it has motivated me to try to work harder and do better. Beloved classmates, as the curtains are drawn on this chapter of our lives, I wish to offer some advice to you and to myself as well. First of all, let us put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala foremost in all of our affairs, for success in anything can only be achieved with the help of Allah. We are all mature and hence responsible, and thus we must ensure that we fulfill our obligations such as praying our five daily salah and fasting in the month of Ramadan. Furthermore, since we have now graduated from Isa and will be pursuing new goals and areas of interest to us, we must ensure that whatever we are engaged in is in accordance with the laws of Islam, for only then will Allah place true blessings and happiness in our lives. Very importantly, we must strive to ensure that we safeguard and value our lives with which we have been entrusted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not destroy it or use it recklessly and haphazardly. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَةِ And do not throw yourselves by your own hands to destruction. Therefore, let us learn to be wise and look before we leap. Notwithstanding, we will no doubt make mistakes, as is our human nature. We must always remember to turn to our Lord in repentance and rectify our affairs with Him and never despair of His mercy. On another note, as we continue with our lives, we should try to further our studies and increase our knowledge. For, as the saying goes, knowledge has a beginning but no end. And, as Nelson Mandela has wisely said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Educating ourselves not only academically but also Islamically is vital. Whether it is simply attending Islamic, class, uh, Islamic classes, reading Islamic books, or listening to lectures, since the Prophet wasallam has said, وَمَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَلْتَمِسُ فِيهِ عِلْمًا سَهَّلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ بِهِ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Whoever chooses a path through which he seeks knowledge, Allah will, as a result, make the path to Jannah easy for him. Finally, let us try to uphold the motto of this noble institution of knowledge, faith, and morality, even though we have now graduated, for it is a motto which holds great significance for us throughout life, since these are three essential ingredients for our success, both in this world and the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May He shower His mercy and guidance on us. May He forgive us for our shortcomings and mistakes. May He make us successful in our future endeavors. And may He unite us all in Jannah and save us from the punishment of the hellfire. آمين جزاكم الله خيرا أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وانت عايشنا بحب لو تضيق الأرض نسكن كل قوم كل هذه الأرض ما تكفي مساحة
شكرا يا 